What's going on guys? Dorko back again. Hope you are fantastic today and I am excited for Bendy and the Dark Revival. And I approve of this message. <clears throat> yes, I know I'm late to react into the trailer. If you want a quick summary, I was in Florida, if you remember, with Fusion and the trailer came out while I was there. I didn't get time to react to it. I got back. I was like, oh, am I too late for the trailer or not? I don't know. Shall I still react to it? I don't know. So what we're going to do today, guys, is you're going to get the reaction from me watching the trailer. See what it's like, even though we're going to play it anyway. Check out some of the gameplay screenshots as well and the character summaries because there are some new characters in this, apparently. I know you guys have already watched the trailer but you can watch it for the ability of time. Let's react to it on the channel. Bendy and the Dark Revival official trailer coming out in a few days, by the way. Super excited. Let's press play and let's see what it's like. Ooh. Creepy Bendy music. And there he is, guys. <gasps> the silhouette of Bendy. Another late night, another crazy deadline. Hello! You can do this, Audrey. Oh, she's an artist. Audrey. Joey Drew Studios. Audrey. Who was that? William Afton! No, it was... <laughs> that was Joey Drew! Children of the machine. I think. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. Okay. I vanished him away in return. I ask just a little favor. A favor? There is a stranger. Bring her to me. Wilson knows. Okay. Whoa, what the hell is that? Big blobby ink. Oh, so, so we're playing as Audrey, I think. This is really cool. Thank you very much for your help. Hello. Lord yes, Lewis. Everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. British! <laughs> Oh my god, this look. Oh, hello! I'm gonna hurt you. Look like you needed some help. Don't touch me. Above everything this else. This looks crazy! Stay away from the ink demon. Say what? The ink demon's the back! Demon. He likes to smile. <gasps> and he kills anything. The ink demon's back, guys! Let's. Here goes nothing. So that's who we're play playing as. Oh my god, it's like a massive city! Is that, is that the ink demon? She was the fourth. Oh, he got a Tommy gun! Oh my god! Okay, guys! Bendy! Bendy? Oh my god! What? A little baby Bendy! What? Oh, what the heck? There's an actual little Bendy character now! I was not expecting to see Bendy in the trailer. Like, I know that we always get the cardboard cut out in the first game and the posters and everything, but we've only ever seen the Ink Demon as the actual Bendy, but here, we've got a little cute Bendy. He's so cute. He's playing with a little train set. It's gonna be like Baby Yoda, isn't it, where we've got to look after Bendy or something. Right, okay, there was a lot to take in there. We're a worker at Jerry Drew Studios. Uh, and this is Audrey, I think she said her name was. She's just working. She's just doing her designs of Bendy, and then she gets turned into an ink monster, just like the rest of the studio. Crazy deadline. She's had a deadline. She's she's working overtime, I think, so she's staying overnight at the studio. You can do this, Audrey. Yeah, Audrey. Her name's Audrey. <laughs> Who is that? So at first I thought it was Joey Drew, but I think... There was a post that say, said Wilson knows, and it looked more like Wilson. Here's Joey Drew. Joey Drew, the man and the demon. Arkgate Pictures presents Joey Drew, the man and the demon. We're making a documentary about Joey Drew or a movie. So this guy knows Audrey because he goes, Audrey. <laughs> and the first meme I could think of was William Afton. <laughs> So I don't think that's Joey Drew, you know. So yeah, you can see that we're getting turned into an ink monster, ink character. There we are. Audrey is an ink character. Oh wow, demon follower. Children of the machine. Children of the machine. The subtitles on this? No. I think he said children of the machine. 
For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. Days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away. In return, I ask just a little favor. So this guy's saying um, that he took away the ink demon and he's asking for a favor. There is a stranger. Bring her. There is a stranger. Bring her to me. Yeah, Wilson did. So that's Wilson. That guy at the start is Wilson. The man who killed the ink demon. Wilson knows your purpose. So this guy is called Wilson. And apparently he killed the ink demon. Wilson seems to be the leader of this place now because he killed the ink demon. So everybody supports him. And Audrey has now turned into an ink an ink person and Wilson wants her. So that's probably why all of the, you know, the gang here are coming after us because Wilson wants us for some reason. This freaking big blob monster with loads of planks in him. <laughs> this guy, it reminded me of you, you guys watch this uh, Scooby-Doo 2, uh, the big blob monster with the eye. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you very much for your help. Is that just somebody who we're just going to see on, along our journey or are they going to tag along with us? The British robot thing. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. So the ink people, most of the ink people can't speak or they're completely mad. And here's somebody going crazy here. No one wants you. Oh, what, so this is somebody who's trying to attack us, I think. Just another person who actually talk the one that we met in the original bendy game where's boris by the way boris is nowhere to be seen no, i'm not gonna hurt you look like you needed some help don't touch me so alice is gonna help us out everything else stay away from the ink demon so the the ink demon is still alive so maybe wilson captured him and then the ink demon escaped or working together or something this bit here is crazy we've not seen anything like this in bendy before like a real open area that looks like a city in the 1950s what is that the monster there as well hiding in a locker again no evil alice alice angel is back and she's got a freaking tommy gun she's got a tommy gun which is crazy I love the logo as well. Logo looks absolutely amazing. And the highlight of the trailer. The absolute highlight. You see Bendy in a prison. We're going to rescue Bendy. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to this, guys. I'm looking... Uh, the most... I'm actually most interested in Wilson. I really am. So how did... Is Wilson just lying to everybody saying that he did, you know, take away the ink demon or did he actually do it? And what's his motive? What is this guy up to? What's he doing? And why does he want Audrey? If you guys have got any ideas or anything that I didn't notice in the trailer, please let me know in the comment section. So this looks amazing. So this is the website uh, for Bendy and the Dark Revival, Joey Drew Studios. It's got all of the characters here. Bendy as well. Bendy. So B Bendy's going to be roaming around with us, I think. And remember as well, this is a full game. There's not chapters in this. It's a full game. Um, there's Audrey. There's Alice. There's somebody. It looks like he's going to help us out then. Um, the ink is calling. Return to the cartoon studio from Bendy and the Ink Machine. See the ink-soaked kingdom of Bendy like never before through the eyes of Audrey. An animator with mysterious abilities. Deeper, darker, and with more horror-stroked action. The Dark Revival will keep you on the edge. The soaked kingdom of Bendy. So it's not just going to be like a little studio area and elevators now. It's, it's going to be an actual big place. So here are some more screenshots, guys. And the game looks absolutely beautiful. I remember, I remember when the first one... I remember when the first chapter came out back in 2017. I'm pretty sure. And the first thing everybody talked about was the style of the game, you know. So here are more of the enemies that we're going to face. With an elevator going up. Oh, employee of the month, Audrey. So I think this is where Audrey was working, right? Uh, there's Boris, Bendy and Alice Angel. I think that's Joey Drew, by the way, in this portrait. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> so yes, they are back. 
uh, from Bendy, from the original Bendy. And they look even more terrifying than before, man. They look absolutely terrifying. There, this is it again. So this is the little city walk area with the groceries, kingpin lanes, bowling, a pharmacy, a subway. An actual proper city in the studios, which looks really cool. There's Bendy! Oh my god, is that the... That's the Bendy, right? This is... this. This is the real Bendy that was in the little cell uh, playing with a train. He's got a little suit on. Striped, a striped suit. Oh, my God. That looks so cool. So, yeah, Bendy is an actual character. Um, I don't know if he's going to have a voice or he's going to be silent like Boris in the original Bendy. But that is freaking cool, man. So, Bendy is going to be tagging along with us uh, during our adventure. So this is Audrey, the studio newcomer. A hard-working animator who is unwillingly pulled into the inky abyss of Bendy's cartoon world. Audrey is determined to survive, but has much to learn about the dark monsters of the studio. Audrey's arrival into the ink world has given her some unique, mysterious powers. The terrors that she will face will test her in every way possible. There is a new evil at work in the studio. Only Audrey can stop it. I'm guessing that's Wilson or the ink demon. So there's Audrey, guys. That's who we're going to be playing as. Okay, so this is Porter. So this is the new character, the lone survivor. Not all lost ones are hell-bent on the destruction of intruders. Despite their reputation for madness and despair, Porter retains some semblance of humanity, at least for now. Self-proclaimed adventurer and studio explorer, rumour has it Porter has mysterious powers of his own. Powers that may be passed on to the right individual. Accident prone? Accident prone, keep an eye out. It's got a grapple hook, which is interesting. Maybe Porter's going to give us a grapple hook to use. And here is Alison, the studio veteran. The remnants of a once sweet cartoon character. This angel... I've just noticed it's Alison. It's not Alice. This angel has been hardened by survival and resistance in the inky depths of the studio. She has a heart for setting things right and is willing to fight for it. She may have useful information for any newcomers to the studio. Her protective companion is a cute, mute, deadly wolf. She calls him Tom. A master of shadows, she is always at the centre of rebellion against evil. The biggest thing here, guys, we were, we were always talking about Boris. Tom is Boris. So Tom is one of the workers who turned into Boris. Um, so Boris is back by the looks of things, which is really good. Apparently, there's an archive as well, which we'll quickly go through. Um, so this is a press archive, property of Joey Drew Studios. Um, so there's, there's a bunch of files in here, guys. New York, World Telegram. And these are just all other pages and stuff, but this is the one that needs highlighting. Joey Drew Studios in Dire Straits. Oh, the date as well is uh, September 25th, 1947. The studio behind Bendy is reportedly experiencing financial difficulty and is looking for additional sources of revenue to prop up its sagging finances. Founded by Joey Drew in 1929, the cartoon studio is best known for Bendy, an impish cartoon character who often gets himself into trouble. According to recent reports coming from the studio, it seems that trouble is spreading like spilled ink. One employee, who asked to remain anonymous, told the Telegram that he doubts the company will be able to sustain much, much longer. Some of the reasons given for the financial difficulties are rocketing expenses related to what he referred as Joey's folly. When asked for clarification, he confusingly told us he feared the machine and didn't want to comment further. This fits with the other stories we have heard coming from inside the studio. We've reached out to Joey Drew for his usual round of reassuring rebutals. However, this time, he has yet to respond as of this edition. So Joey is basically spending the studio's finances on building the ink machine, and that's why they're in financial trouble. Oh, Bendy goes bankrupt. So this is... Oh, it doesn't say a date. It's blurred. It doesn't say a date, but it's in July. So it might be like a year after, a couple of years after. Bendy goes bankrupt. Cartoon Studio shuts its doors for good. So this is Joey Drew. Um, it looks similar to... Uh, it looks similar to Walt Disney. New York... Joey Drew Studios, the studio behind the popular cartoon character Bendy, has filed for bankruptcy. Despite long-term denials of financial hardship from the owner and creator, Mr. Joey Drew, the company has been rocked 
by financial trouble for many years, according to our sources. We have yet to confirm exactly when or how these difficulties began, the ink machine. Many suspect the war years took their toll. Company assets, including the studio location on Broadway and land holdings in New Jersey, are set to be liquidated to help pay the company's debtors. The bulk of the bulk of the deficit is owed to the Gent Corporation of Brooklyn, who supplied much of the company's equipment. Reports from the studio's creditors describe the scene of utter chaos at the secretive studio in the last couple of years. One woman who wished to remain anonymous stated that for a cartoon studio that made such light-hearted entertainment for children, behind the scenes was dark and gloomy. I felt strongly that something wasn't right there. Another man, who also wished to remain nameless, gave a public rebuttal of Mr. Drew's just a pencil and a dream philosophy. Mr. Drew, the pencil can be erased, mistakes removed and revisions made to suit the changing landscape of your world. But ink, ink stays forever. Ink creates truths that cannot be erased or altered. Ink is permanent, just like the effect you have had on everyone around you and your studio. Mr. Drew, your world is not a world of graphite, but of ink. These and many other reports from behind the scenes have given the studio an aura of infamy and mystery lately a striking contrast to the light-hearted subject matter of the products. Many are now asking just what was going on at the studio. There are talks of investigation, but as of yet, nothing has come from them at the time of this writing. One of the major contributors to the bankruptcy may have been the ambitious amusement park Bendyland that had reportedly been in full production before the war. Another possible contribution are many rumored secret projects. Mr. Drew once remarked to the press, you are about to see something amazing. A leap forward for the entertainment industry like nothing before, the ink machine. Cartoons will come to life. What he meant by that is anyone's guess now. The revealing of perhaps an ugly backstory to the studio is a surprise to many who have long felt the beloved cartoons were a part of their lives. Bendy, Boris the Wolf and Alice Angel and their friends have been entertaining kids and adults alike for 20 years. We've reached out to Joey Drew for comment but have yet to hear from him. In fact, no one can seem to find him. The mystery deepens. I'm really enjoying reading these. These are really cool. Oh, here we go. What's the date for this one? 1962. Okay, so this is almost 20 years later that Joey Drew Studios is there. Uh, Starting to uh, fail. Whatever happened to Joey Drew Studios? Remember Bendy? Many are too young to remember. But there was a time when the antics of Bendy and his crazy friends entertained the masses in packed theatres before the feature. For a brief time in the mid-1930s, it was more common to see a Bendy short than any other cartoon. Such was his popularity. But unlike other characters of the time who remain cultural icons and still entertain children on television to this day, Bendy has all but disappeared. Joey Drew, the man behind Bendy, created the character and animated his first short, Little Devil Darling, with sound in 1929, forming Joey Drew Studios with a business partner. I'm pretty sure that is Henry, right? The cartoon proved popular, and the New York-based company grew along with a string of zany albite, slightly macabre cartoons featuring beloved characters such as Boris the Wolf and Alice Angel. By 1940, Bendy was a staple, and the company was producing comic books, toys, and all sorts of Bendy-related memorabilia. There were even plans for a Bendy-themed amusement park. However, the company began to hit a downturn during World War II. As the country went to war, animators were harder to come by, and even ink proved hard to procure. The company re-released many of its old cartoons, some of them for the last time, to entertain the troops sell war bonds and keep the company's wheels turning. After the war, the company fell upon rough times and declared bankruptcy in 1948. Since then, barring one or two minor attempts to rekindle the magic, Bendy has all but disappeared from popular culture. Its creator, Joey Drew, once a public figure, remains elusive and has not been heard of from in years. 
It seems that the antics of Bendy and his friends are now all but forgotten, and all that remains today might be an old comic book and a dusty Bendy doll lingering in the shadows of your parents' attic. However, you never know, cartoons never die. This was in 1962. What is this one? February 10th, 1972? Bendy is back! Joey Drew's legacy purchased by Ark Gates. That's Wilson! And they've purchased Bendy. Okay, this is interesting. The property holdings of Joey Drew Studios now has a new owner with big plans for the once beloved, now dormant cartoon character Bendy. The studio and all its properties have been bought by the newly formed Ark Gate Pictures, led by business tycoon Nathan Ark, a longtime friend of the late Joey Drew. So it's not Wilson then. If you have seen the grinning face of Bendy before, but didn't know who he was, you are not alone. The Bendy brand has laid all but dormant since Joey Drew Studios' bankruptcy in 1948, well over 20 years ago. The character Bendy, once a cinema staple, has since vanished like disappearing ink from a popular culture. No longer, according to Nathan Ark of Ark Gate Pictures. It's time for Bendy to make a triumphant return to popular culture, he said in an exclusive interview with The Times. Nathan Ark is better known for his decades of success in the steel and oil industries, but cartoons are something new. The magic of animation is something that everyone can enjoy, and I've long admired my friend Joey's passion and dedication to the craft. I can think of no better tribute to Joey than the resurrection of his studio and the beloved characters he created. Mr. Ark formed Ark Gate Pictures with the dream of bringing back Bendy and all of the fun and wit that was once flowing from Joey Drew Studios. The studio is currently hiring a whole new generation of animators and artists. Okay, I'm getting it now. To create new Bendy cartoons, television specials, movies, toys, and more. When? Very soon. Joey Drew was a man of big ideas who never looked back. It was an honor to know him, said Mr. Ark. Today marks the beginning of a new era for Bendy, Boris, Alice, and all the others who have been quietly awaiting their return to the animation spotlight. And I and all the people I've gathered to me intend to do Joey proud. This was Joey's dream, and I aim to make it a reality again. In the words of Joey Drew, dreams come true. Okay. Well, this article basically sums up what's going on. Uh, in, in, in the Dark Revival. And now the title makes sense. The Dark Revival. And Audrey is one of the new animators who has been sucked into the Bendy world. Strange one. I don't know who this guy is still. Um, but Arcgate Pictures, now we know who they are, made a, made a documentary about Joey Drew and Bendy. Audrey works at the new revived Bendy Studios, Joey Drew Studios, and then... the. the, the the ink machine must be still active uh, because she gets put into the world. So I think for a long time, nobody new has entered the Bendy world because Joey Drew Studio shut down. Uh, maybe, f I don't know how long, like 10, 20 years, nobody's entered the world. And I think the last one, the last one before Audrey could have been Henry. Um, so... When Audrey goes into the world, you know, Wilson's like, who the hell are you? You know, I want, I, I need to see her. I need to talk. I want Audrey, you know, go and get Audrey for me. You know, we've got a new person here. By the way, Henry was the main protagonist in the first Bendy, by the way, if, if you haven't played the first games. So are we going to see Henry in the sequel? Because it looks like this takes place after Henry um, going in. So we'll have to wait and see if we see Henry at the end or something. Because it looks like Wilson has took credit for it. Let's see what happens, okay? Let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comment section through everything I've read, the articles and the trailer. Are you excited for it? You're definitely going to see a Let's Play on the channel. I really appreciate the support. Take care, lots of love, and I'll see you all next time.